Hello and welcome. This is Honeysuckle bringing you yet another episode of Lake. We are in our second week of our two-week stay in Providence Oaks. So let's continue our game and see what we can find out. Tuesday, September 9th in the morning. Okay, so we have quite a few letters and packages. Lots of them in town. Okay, this is cool. So, looks like another package way down here. And a package out here at Moe's Diner. And, oh yeah, we need to talk to Robert. So, okay, we'll do all these and then we'll head out this way, I believe. And talk to Robert last. Alright, so... Feels like my mouse sensitivity Good morning, P.O. Have changed. P.O. Positive or that P? Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Did someone oh, just call me, me? well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but... Mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. Okay, that's just annoying. So 209 here in circle. That would be this one. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Well, okay. So you are 209, so we need to come up here. Leave it on the doorstep. Okay. Just casually looking around. All right. All right let's turn around here. Head back out. Sun. Let's take a right. We have a package. Oh, it's like a package for the diner. All right, three fifty one Main Street. I think I said diner, and I meant the flick shack. Three fifty one Main Street. There we go. Hey, you. Hi. Oh, we're so I'm guessing now. you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Um, do we need to talk? It's not what I'm here for at all. Here's Actually, that's not what I'm here for at all. Wait, you're not telling me you're here for little old me. <laughs> so, what's on your mind, babe? Um, we should just be friends. Well, I like you, but I think we should just be friends. I see. I, ca I came on a little too strong. It's been known to happen. Just not in that I way. I do like you, just not in that way. Gotcha. Friends it is. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. <sighs> Yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. 
<laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Um, no. Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Okay, then. The hugging is a... weird. I don't think I'm a huggy person to people I don't really know. Okay, then. So, we need to go... Let's look at our map to be sure. Yep, I need to back up and make a left. Up. Hope nobody's coming because I'm not looking. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Alright, we have. Probably should have stopped there, but it's okay. Um, up here. Looks like here. Alright, letter. No parking. Well, not parking. Delivery mail. Alright, let me take a right. We have a package here. Looks like right here. 103rd East 4th Street. Right there. Leave it on the doorstep. Yes, I will. I thought there was a doorbell. Why didn't I ring it this time? That was a tiny little package. All right, we'll let her around the corner. It's like right here. postcard. Alright, what else do we have? Alright, so around the corner and straight across, a couple of packages and a letter. end. Looks like a letter right over here. Alright, and then a package over here. So Jackson Street. Three hundred one Jackson Street. So three hundred one to three hundred three. So this is gonna be three hundred one. Yep, three hundred one. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Alright, 
so we need to turn around. Alright, where else do we need to go? Like a right, and then we'll come down there. Post office. All right, letter right down here. Looks like here. All right, y'all just run away. That's fine. It doesn't give me a complex or anything. Oh, y'all need grass in your yard. All right in the truck and looks like we do have another letter right here so on around oh, street not driveway there we go all right looks like right here Here's your mail. All right. And looks like that's all we have in town. So, yeah. We'll just come on out here and take a left and head out to Moe's Diner. So, I will just skip ahead and I'll meet you down at Moe's Diner. Package, 500 Lake Road. Oh, big one. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. What is sticking out of my truck? Hi, Kay. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um. It's nothing illegal, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a. Um. Why are you poking into her business? I would be upset. That's, it's a box of bunnies. A box of bunnies? No, but that would totally make the kids' day, though. Fairies a lot less, probably. Okay. You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Well. Wow. Oh, Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. Okay. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Uh... Nah, I'm good. Happy to help. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. 
through and mix again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Okay. Very excited about that. I guess I would have asked for pie if I actually liked blueberry pie myself, but um, <laughs> it's hard to get excited about something that I don't personally like. So that's a me thing. Plus, I'm on the job. I'm not sure if I can actually stop to eat. Okay, so we have another package to deliver down here. Let's see. Look at our map. It is down here. We are here. We have to come all the way down around to here. So, I will meet you down there. Okay, let's come off in here. See if we can find where we need to be. Just follow our little map here. We should be fine. This looks abandoned. Um, that is a chainsaw. What on earth did these folks order? What do you mean, what on earth? That is very obvious what they ordered. Um, how am I supposed to get up here? No answer. All right, on to the next one. Oh, there are no next ones. I just need to go find Robert. All right, so uh, let me get out of here, and I'll meet you once we get closer to finding Robert. Okay. Um gonna be over here somewhere so let's let's go ahead and take this left okay across the bridge all right past his house I'm just going by the exclamation on the map, the mini-map. Looks like he's going to be down here somewhere. Okay. Definitely hear a chainsaw. You know, it's very dangerous to walk into the woods when someone is cutting trees down. See over here? Where is he? This way. No? That looks like a barrier. Um. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see him. Is he up in a tree somewhere? Oh, he is up in a tree. Here. Hey, Robert! Wow, 
Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Robert. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Huh. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. That's always Anyways, good. I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. All right, tell me all about it. Why not? Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Okay. Um, right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by, offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. I got a feeling you're not being serious right now. Yeah, you got me there. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks involved. This afternoon at Jack Reynolds' barn. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay. Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Hey. Right. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. Alrighty. Now return to the post office. All right, so now I'm going to go to a recording studio. It should be fun. All right, so let's return to the post office and see what that's all about. I'll meet you there. Go. go ahead and park old goose right here. Over the line, who cares? Okay, folks, it's showtime. Right. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Oakians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it, and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? Um... Needs more passion. The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Oakians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Uh, yeah, that should do it because it sounds exactly the same. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's a wrap. Back to tater harvesting. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanting to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Um, yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, <laughs> folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Meredith, it's...
it's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't? I'm just very busy. I'm just very busy. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, I gotta run. Corporate lawyer appointment. Bye. Ah. <sighs> We want to do the contracts. Fine. And we don't really want to, but we did tell him we would, so. All right. It's important Here to keep your again. word. All right, Wednesday morning. Um. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Anything else? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Miss Weiss. If that was not a poorly timed attempt at comedy, the best I can do is pretend you never sent this. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes I just blurt out bad jokes. I've noticed that. Have a good day, Miss Weiss. Yeah, that was not smart. <laughs> but it was funny. <laughs> and it's raining. Lovely. All right, we will pick up in the next episode from here. So let's save the game, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.